Here we go. Question about, I was thinking about getting a pool heater that is only copper. Will the zinc anode work if it is connected to the pool heater's grounding bolt, but not to any ground? So this gets into bonding and bonding a pool and, and pounding a grounding rod into the ground. I think what's going on here is someone is questioning whether a pool heater using the grounding lug, bonding lug on the heater, is that adequate enough to protect the heater? And what happens is you run a bond wire around the pool, so you're bonding all of the metal and all the components around the outside edge of the pool. And when that feeds back to the panel, technically that line voltage or that voltage on that bond wire is transferred to the neutral and ground of the equipment itself. So as long as you have a completed circuit in your bond wire and it goes to from your sacrificial anode, your anode, and then it goes to the heater and then it goes to the pump, by hitting the ground hitting that bond wire on the pump, you have power that comes in that has a hot, a neutral, and a ground that ground and that bond wire technically touch because they're both grounded slash bonded to the pump itself. That feeds that volt that voltage to ground because back at the panel of the house, there darn well better be two grounding rods pounded into the ground and attached to that panel. So yes, technically your heater would be safe based on as, as long as you have your complete bond loop going to all of those components. Long, long way of saying you should be fine. Okay.